What is going on here? What are all these things on the screen? I don't know what I'm doing with this camera. I really hope my camera doesn't run out of battery before I finish this because I didn't think to charge it. But um, hi, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna show you a few of the bits I've got from ASOS recently. I've honestly just been ordering way too much stuff so I can't show you everything but I've picked the bits that either I really love or I can physically find because I don't know where half of it's gone. Um, but even better, I gave my boyfriend a hundred pound um, and you all said on Instagram you wanted him to buy me a rave outfit and funnily enough, he has got it from ASOS. So I'm gonna add that in at the end too. That part is gonna be a try on. I haven't looked at the bag. I don't know what he's got. I don't know what's in there. Um, but the other bits I'm just gonna show you because there's photos in everything I think on my Instagram so yeah for some reason I've gone blazer crazy at the moment I don't know why I don't know what's wrong with me um it's not even really the right weather for blazers but the first one you will all have seen on my Instagram plenty of times now and it's just this lush yellow collusion blazer it's oversized and it's long line I think I got a yeah I got a 14 to be honest size down like this is really big on me um but I love it I think it's perfect for summer I think it's perfect for to be honest you could pair it with anything you could clash it with a color you could wear it with all black you could wear it with all white really really love this um I haven't actually worn it out yet obviously but it's been in quite a few photos so I'm really pleased with that oh I don't have it the other one was a grey oversized blazer from Daisy Street I want to say absolutely love it I've actually worn that twice already um it's just such a thin lightweight blazer it's not really going to keep you warm necessarily but in winter if you're wearing it over jumpers and cardigans and stuff that'll be fine anyway but I just love the way it fits I think I got that in a 12 but I will put it on the screen um love it honestly I'm obsessed and it was like 30 pound which is really good for a blazer to be honest yeah love it then the next one is a black cropped blazer again from collusion um whoa <laughs> that went really bright then again size down this is 40 no it's not this is a 12 and it's still too big um so i definitely say it's size down on this but i'm literally thinking this for when we can go back to work is going to be so handy or I really like things like this it's like i feel so cringe saying it but like minimal vibes like i would easily wear this to a rave with some chunky shoes um i don't know maybe like a black satin jogger or something love really really love talking of chunky shoes i love these boots you all know this i talk about them so much on my instagram honestly been wearing these for years well not these these are a brand new pair um but yeah i wear them to like events work festivals and when i say festivals i mean like park life in the rain like i love them so so much they're 30 pound they come in like normal and i know they come in a wide foot i think they might come in a narrow foot too now um and they do also ha now have a chunkier sole one if that's the kind of thing you're into but yeah i absolutely love these the amount of you that have gone out and brought them as well and love them too amazing so we're on shoes i'll show you these so to be honest i don't know why i got these because they were expensive these were 50 pound for some fucking like dad sandals definitely could have got them cheaper somewhere else i don't know why i bothered um i just think i don't have any normal sandals like at all i've got like studded ones or chunky ones or flip-flops but i don't have any normal sandals so i got these and i do like them but 50 pound like what the fuck and i've worn them so i can't even send them back uh they're from the brand T teva or teva <sighs> I really like the Prada ones that are almost exactly like this and I was slagging those off like they're so expensive for what they are and then I go and pay £50 on whatever these are. Then I got these recently which are just some Reeboks. I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. I'll have to link them below. Um, I forgot that I need to size up in Reeboks because I've got really wide feet and these are really narrow. Um, so they fit fine lengthwise but they are a bit snug widthwise so I don't know whether I'll just pop these on my Depop. Um, but yeah, the colours in these I love. I absolutely love these for summer. I think they're so 90s. I love them. It's just the fit of Reeboks. And to be honest, I know Reeboks don't fit me very well. But love. I'm going to show you some socks. <laughs> so random. 
but these came back in stock so i got another pair of these i think they come in a pack of three they're just van socks they're cute i like them and then i could only find one of these these have come back in stock as well so they're just some like nike ankle socks these are really nice with chunky trainers um yeah boring i know but i feel like socks can like actually complete an outfit so i thought i would mention those i'm going to show you this set because it is back in stock as of today when i'm filming this and it is the nike set that you all went crazy for so i've got the bra in a medium and i've got the shorts in a large i've said this on instagram but could definitely have sized down in the shorts although i do like the fact that they're really baggy so i wouldn't but i could if that makes any sense but yeah i love this set this would be such an ibiza set if i was going to ibiza the last two things i want to show you are two bags i'm sorry i really had to rush through this because i don't know how long it's going to take me to try on the stuff that he's picked out and yeah i just thought i'd add these bits in anyway to show you so this is my new everyday bag this will be my new work bag and it's a nylon um it's like a 90s bag but bigger I really, really like this. Of the trend, it kind of reminds me of the Prada bags, but obviously bigger. It sits, I'll show you. It's like this on the shoulder, which I didn't think I would like, but I do. You can actually fit quite a lot in here as well. Obviously it's really flexible. I just really, really like it. I think it was like 20, 25 pounds, which I don't think is bad. Right, and then the last thing I want to show you is this bag. Again, this was about 20 quid. It's from Topshop, but I got it from ASOS. I love it. Absolutely love it. So it's a bum bag, although I would wear it just like that. Or you could wear it over your chest. I wouldn't actually personally wear this on my hips as a bum bag. I love it. I really, really love it. I would wear this on like girly nights out. I'd wear it to raves. I'd wear it to Ibiza obsessed it's got a popper so to be honest oh no and it does have a zip oh it's got a zip as well which i didn't even realize i'm also wearing a pair of trousers that i got from asos that are so comfy they're like culottes with like a elasticated paper bag waist but they go i got them i got the tall version so they go right down to the floor for me i wonder if i can show you really really high-waisted they're really baggy really flowy i absolutely love them i got them in a 12 i definitely could have sized down but i just love the way they fit and then i don't know how i'm going to show you but they basically go all the way to my ankle right now for the stuff that kyle picked out for me so i gave him 100 pounds i'm actually a little bit worried about this not gonna lie me and him have very different tastes in the sense that when we're actually physically shopping together anything he picks out for me i really don't like so i'm not sure how this is gonna go basically i sent him 100 pound and you guys voted on instagram as to whether i had to give him a specific brand to go to and shop from or if he could pick it himself you voted pick it himself so that's what he did it happened to be from asos so there you go um and you also voted that it was something to wear to a rave so that was kind of like the criteria that i gave him i'm nervous i know he actually really really struggled to do this as well so right okay this is oh this is nice Wait, this is nice. Got a Nike crop top. This looks super, super crop though. As in like, I think my tits are gonna be out. Uh, this is in a large. I already am 99.9% .9 sure he's gonna have picked out cargo trousers because he keeps trying to get me in cargo trousers and it's just, it ain't my thing. So I'm a bit nervous that that is what he's gonna have paired that with. What the fuck is it? Oh. Um, Kyle, what the fuck is that? Mm. Then he's picked out a bin liner for me. What the fuck are they? 6th June zip front cargo pants with reflective logo. I'm sorry, what the fuck? I, I'm hoping he was catfished and they didn't look like this on the website. It looks like, you know on those um, detective programs where like there's a dead body in a river and then they have to put these and their wellies on to go searching for it. That's what this looks like. Oh, actually these are cute. Some really chunky white trainers. He did originally say he wanted me to wear 
my Balenciagas with this outfit. Um, but then he literally would only have got two things. So I'm glad he got the shoes. Sorry, but the bloody noise that these make is criminal. But what the frick is going on? God, they're fucking tight as well. Oh my God, absolutely fucking not. I genuinely don't think I've ever looked uglier. For a start, why are they literally trying to be low rise? Um, I thought I liked this top. I'm not sure I actually do like this top anymore. These absolutely fucking not. They're trying to be low rise. They like dip down. I can't get them up any higher than that because they're way too tight on my thighs. They're literally cutting the circulation off. The crotch is halfway down here. And then I can't even lift my leg up to show you, but I literally can't lift my leg. What the fuck is this hanging out? I can't even put the shoes on because I can't bend my legs in these. So here are the shoes. So in conclusion, I am never, ever, ever letting Kyle dress me for a rave. To be fair, I can kind of see where he was going. Like, let me give him some credit. I can see where he was going, but those trousers are fucking awful. For a large, not being funny. I can't even try the shoes on because what am I gonna do? Just try it on with this and my pants. Yeah. That was a bit of a fail. Try and leave links to everything down below if I remember. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. This end part was just a little bit of fun. That was fucking £100 of mine. Absolutely wasted. Um, yeah. Enjoy your week. I know some